Welcome to the ERC picnic. Lunch is ready. So this is Bruce, this is Angie, and we've already have been friends and colleagues for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah I appreciate it. it. it was three years, probably two years. Yeah. And uh, Ernie came to one of our early meetings to tell us about how to be safe. And he says, now I want you to be safe when you're driving. And he says, I'm really thinking about that because today, I was eating the chopsticks while driving down the road. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's okay with the stick shift. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it okay. <laughs> the power of each of you to have an impact on the people around you. And what we had expected and important is to continue to have that impact. As long as that happens, this will never change. Because you will still be here, you will still have the opportunity to have those kind of impact. And the people you work with, and the people in your lives, your family, your neighbors, and your neighbors. So, if anything, the success we have is a proof of what that can mean and what that brings to the people around you. I'm not able to do this without crying. Ernie, through his actions, have sh has shown us, like Gilda said and like Stacy said, how to be servant leaders and how to take care of one another. Thank you, Ernie. <laughs> this is from the HR team to you, and thank you. I'm going to need this when I read those letters. <laughs> so we've heard a lot about Ernie and a lot about how he's taught us about servant leadership. And I won't repeat those things, but I certainly second everything that we've said here today. I wanted to take a moment to talk about the man that Ernie is. Ernie is a man that supports every one of us, takes time out of his busy schedule to learn our names, to study our pictures, to learn who we are as people, not just as employees our families, our spouses. It takes a lot of personal time to do that. And I've tried. It's not easy. It's really, 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 really hard. And Ernie has done that for years and years and years. A lot of companies have great leaders. A lot of companies have great bosses. A lot of companies have great CEOs. Very few companies have the beacon of leadership and the true alignment with servant leadership that we have had in ERC for the last several years. Thank you, Ernie.
people to come tell me how much it meant to be part of a company where I had the privilege of leading. Because they, they're not going to get anything from me. I, I can't control whether they have a job or whether they get a raise. And so it felt pretty genuine and authentic. It came from the heart. And that's the way I've tried to lead. So to get that reflected back to me, you know, nothing else about it. Just, it's beautiful. One of the other things I like today um, is just the diversity of people that we have here. It is a direct outcome of my parents' belief that people, you know, we all have something to contribute. There are other important aspects of the diversity we have at ERC is that it's about love. Without love, you can't have diversity. There are too many ways to have differences, too many ways to have disagreements. And the love we have for one another overcomes all of that and brings us together as a family. And we saw that today.